I like Meg. I'm, I I'm well documented as I liking know. Meg. So I, I just I hope it's a good project. Mm. Um, don't worry about M. <laughs> it's not gonna be nothing. <laughs> it's not. Don't do it. It's stupid. <laughs> like yeah. it'll be a it'll be a big mistake. I mean, I felt like it was a mistake for her to go at Nicki Minaj. I mean, I haven't heard that his record out ever in life. No. Men and women don't always get along because Eminem, you know, he released his new track, man, Houdini. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Houdini, my uh, my pit bull. Oh, yeah. yeah. I still never met Houdini. Um, from his reputation, I don't know <laughs> if I want to. <laughs> he's nice. He's nice. He's good. Uh, but, yeah, man, Eminem is back, man. He's coming out with the album, The Death of Slim Shady, bro. And he, he took some shots on this album, man. He brought Slim Shady back. I thought Shady Ben died, but all right. <laughs> what do you mean, man? <laughs> Please. Nobody been looking for Eminem for like 10, 15 years now. That's, that's not true, man. That's I have not, not been trying to listen to M since like Recovery. And that was not a good project. I like Recovery. I, I liked it too, but it wasn't great. I thought it was really good. I like Recovery. I like Relapse. Uh, I liked uh, Kamikaze, which came out what, like? 2018 i listened to kamikaze but it i don't know and mur mur music to be murdered by was pretty good too um <sighs> i don't know but hey man he, he took some shots at meg your girl man meg yes. the Stallion. he did he did so he said uh in his latest track if i was to ask for Med megan the stallion if she would collab with me would i really have a shot at a feat i don't know but i'm glad to be at a feed. That's a light jab, but the internet was upset, man. The hotties were mad. They were hot. <laughs> <sighs> I feel like her fans are always mad, man. I don't know, man. I mean, they're super defensive of her, and I, I, I appreciate it because if your fans aren't going to be defensive of you, then who the fuck is? Like, yeah. you got to depend on your family and RIP to Meg's, like, family that's passed on. Yeah. But um, I, I just... I don't know why he felt the need to do that. It's Slim Shady, man. Come on. We grew it up is. On He's this. been controversial forever since he first started. But it's like, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know, man? He disappears every once in a while, and then he'll come back, take a random shot at somebody so he can get like some press and some publicity. And then he'll disappear again because the project doesn't meet expectations. I don't, I don't see that at all. Like, I feel like this has always been kind of what he does. You know, he'll throw names out there, jazz, but I don't think it's anything like serious. And people pointed out that, you know, we talked about Meg's uh, diss track, Hiss, mm -hmm. that came out when she was taking shots at Nicki Minaj yes. and some other people. And they say she made a reference on that song that, um, you know, quoted the uh, Obsessed record that Mariah Carey put out years ago against Eminem. Eminem, you know, she said, I feel like Mariah Carey, these, got these niggas so obsessed. Okay, so like, it seems, in, you know, to be in line with that, you know, like, okay, she mentioned me or something that was a shot at me. It did. I mean, she did say niggas, so I don't know if she was talking about <laughs> She was Eminem. not talking about Eminem at all. She just was referring to the song. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but hey, you know, I feel like we talked about Meg, you know, going back and forth with Drake. And when Drake took shots at her, you know, on her loss, I feel like I feel I, at least me. I was like, OK, it's fine. As long, you know, be a rapper, fire back. Do you think yeah. Meg responds? Because, you know, she's on her arena tour right now. And she said she's releasing an album at the end of June, man. Do you if, think she takes a shot or you think she just laughs at all? If, if I'm Meg, is, this is not worth a response. The song was trash. Like, this song is not good at all. Even the bar was bad. Like, it's just, don't don't waste your time, Meg. F oh. Hopefully, this is a really good album. <laughs> um, I'm hoping. Okay. I like Meg. I'm, I I'm well documented as I liking know. Meg. So, I, I just, I hope it's a good project. Mm. Um, don't worry about M. <laughs> it's not going to be nothing. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Don't do it. It's stupid. <laughs> like, yeah. it'll be a it'll be a big mistake. I mean, I felt like it was a mistake for her to go at Nicki Minaj. I mean, I haven't heard that his record out ever in life. No. Um, no. I still hear her shit from like 2019. I don't really hear any of her recent records when I go yeah. out. So we'll see how this. I mean, honestly, this album does. her her and Cardi kind of in that same boat mm. from a musical standpoint, where they didn't put out nothing really good in the last four plus years. And um, they still collabing on trash they, records. Yeah, they still collabing. They working together. They teaming up. Mm. Uh, they both look beautiful. 
Um, they got a lot of support from the fans, but not a lot behind it mm. f- from the music side. So that bongo song, what happened to that? That was terrible, yo. <sighs> terrible. They keep searching for the hit. They keep searching for it. I can, it, like you can clearly see what they're looking for. Mm. They're looking for like the 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 baddie anthem that that all the girls love and the guys love the music video. Like that's what they're looking for. Yeah. But they can't find it. They can't find it now. You know, you know who did find it? Nicki Minaj, man, because she's still she's still on fire from her last album. Yeah. Um, but yeah. hey, I don't know. I don't. I I feel like a lot of these new fans. They're so sensitive, especially Meg fans. It's like, I understand she went through some real trauma. Tory Lanez, you know, he's locked up for a while. He, he's never he going to come back to the United States. He got again. like seven more years to go. <laughs> <laughs> so like, okay, I feel like that's done. But like people chose a side on that in the internet. There was like a war going on, a virtual war with like Meg fans versus other people. And I feel like Meg fans are kind of hyper focused on that moment. So I hope meg's able to overcome that and kind of rewrite the narrative and put that behind her because i feel like all this negativity is not helpful because i don't think she's that type of artist anyway i i I like her more for like the fun kind of party anthem so i you know i feel like she should switch back into that energy like we see how far rap beef can go i mean bro i don't think we have this as a topic but did you hear cole and drake's latest latest features oh my god we don't have it as a topic <laughs> for good reason. For good reason. Oh my goodness, Troy, you heard it. You heard him. <sighs> yeah, unfortunately, I don't yeah, trash. Talk about this let's, shit. let's talk about Grippy first, man. No, oh, don't even say not. Grippy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's when I saw the when, <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop, stop it, stop it. <laughs> when I saw the the title of the song, I was like, oh, this is trash. And then I saw people killing it on social media, and I'm like. Okay, this confirms exactly what my suspicions were. And then I listened to it, and I made it maybe like a minute. And uh, <laughs> when he paused, and there was like a tick, tick sound or whatever, like he was thinking, and then he said grippy, I was like, what are we doing right now? Has Kendrick literally stolen these guys' powers? Like, they have no ability to make good music anymore. Like, they can only do some bullshit right now. Is that what's going on? Because you come from, for Cole, let's keep it on him for right now. You you come from coming out with a mid-project with a diss track that two days later you roll back you lay down on the ground and apologize with your your hands clasped, pl- saying, "Please, I beg you, I'm sorry." And then you see what masterclass that Kendrick puts on, literally annihilating Drake. And then this is what you allow to come out, <laughs> grippy. I mean, yeah, uh, I felt like it was pretty. It was a fun record, right? It's not. F- no, this is not fun. <laughs> We're not calling this fun. This is trash. This is what uh what was that song where he's talking about how he he had his dick hard in class because yeah that wet song. dreams. I honestly I like wet dreams. I think his cat it's you like like wet dreams. Okay. <laughs> honestly, I love them. Slay. <laughs> like all right, I like that song, but it played into the story of the album. Okay. Like it, it was part this is a of feature, that. Though. Come on. And this was trash. Okay. It, I didn't like it either, but I felt like, okay, it's just light, you know? No, no. I don't know. No. Troy, did you cringe when you heard it? Yeah, I was like, I was very disappointed, especially <laughs> in J. Cole, you know, because him, I was like, you know, just keep on doing what you're doing. It's yeah. fine. But I was like, ah, oh, this is a bad step. You think Kendrick has anything to do with this? Him and Drake kind of taking side steps? No, but I think um, that's what the story is going to be. You know, this could be this verse could have been recorded months ago or something. Yeah. Who knows? But the perception of it is like, yeah, Kendrick's the boogeyman, and these rappers are afraid to rap. But why you let this song come out? I don't know. Like, you want to step on your diss track? Step on this bullshit. <laughs> like, don't put this out. I it agree. makes no. It makes no sense. It's it's stupid. It's not his song. You know, he's trying to reach. I don't care. You on the song, you can step on that shit and tell them not to put it out. I'm sure he likes his verse. Like, I'm sure he likes that verse is trash. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But yeah, man, Drake, he wasted no time, man. He wasted no time to put out some new heat. I I think I could play this. Oh, my gosh. Um, I don't even. 
Eu amo a Lila 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 Walk on the Lila, double date me if you like me. Brought my crown and for your bestie. Sorry, he's wearing a shiesty, he's not be. It's just too smoky in these streets. You're looking sweet. <laughs> oh, don't you be acting me. Turn this shit off, please. <laughs> Oh, don't you be acting me? <laughs> Come on, yo. I, uh, I actually like "Hey There, Delilah." You do? Yeah, that's a classic. That song sucks, man. I mean, they used to everybody's play that, got their opinion. I think it's a classic. They used though. to play that at Pemberton, um, on the morning buzz. <laughs> in the morning. On the bus? The morning buzz on the intercom. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh! Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You're right. You're yeah, right. They did like all the time. I was like, okay, that song is creepy. It's like about a stalker. Like, come on, bro. Let her, let her live her life. Um, <laughs> I don't. I, Drake has put out what? Is that the second or the third feature? I think it's the second one. The first one was the sexy red shit. Yeah, the sexy even red worse shit than this because was... this was like a joke. This is like a spoof parody yeah. thing. I don't understand it. I'm not from Toronto. Um, it was. I don't know. Everybody I hate knows. their fucking lingo. Like whatever it is that they, their slang, their whatever you want to call that, it's terrible. <laughs> Like, I saw the interview with the, the guy who actually made this, like, um, redo of Hey There, Delilah uh -huh. in his interview. And the way he talks is, like, you want to punch him in the face. Okay. <laughs> and I'm, I usually don't feel that way about these things. But yeah. it's so bad. It's, like, forced slang. Like, it's forced, like, oh, I'm trying to say something that doesn't make sense to be cool i don't know it makes you sick to your stomach thumb <laughs> <laughs> come on crody <laughs> i don't know shout out to all of our canadian subscribers we love you all you know i'm definitely gonna try to come out to toronto again this year maybe montreal too you know we talked about that. i haven't met anybody from canada that actually talks like this I, yeah. not a single soul and I work with people that live in Canada and I'm, born yeah. and raised in Canada. Nobody talks like this. Yeah, they're not swaggy enough, man. I don't know. <laughs> no, um, they, they must only learn this shit at the trailer park or something. I don't know where they learn it up there. but Man, we, we love the trailer park, too. Shout out to you guys. You know, I saw you guys <laughs> at the UFC fight. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, man, I don't know. Um, I think they're just having fun. You know, it does look a little bit worse after the aggression Dude. in the Kendrick battle. But for me, I'm like, you know, I don't want them to make hard records. I don't want J. Cole and Drake to make hard records. Like, and I feel like J. Cole kind of backed off that early. We'll see what Drake does. It doesn't have to be a hard record. Just make good music again. Yeah. Or sit down and shut up. Like, that's the problem I have with Drake. You got cooked for a month and now you can't seem to go sit down somewhere. Yeah. And either you got to put out music or you're so narcissistic or tone deaf that you think you're still hot in the streets right now. Or I, I don't know. I don't know what the third option is, but none of this is entertaining. Nobody likes the shit you're doing. Like, go sit down somewhere. He's not going go to. on vacation. Go to Turks. Go wherever you want to go and not put out music. Don't do nothing on social media. Sit down disappear for just a little while until the end of the year come back next year bro it's not gonna happen uh, i know but i wish it would i don't know like i just want drake to put out good music as he said um you know he says summer vibes up next i hope this isn't what he meant dog it's gonna be trash whatever he puts out i i would put money on it right now okay that it's not gonna be good wow this is crazy man you you're new you whole new person <laughs> because i'm i'm tired of these niggas i'm tired of them like, I, you have given Honestly, you gave them the benefit of the doubt for the last like two years, and you every time they're going to release something, you're pretty hopeful. Yeah, know? every time I, they get my hopes up, I think for the dogs. Oh man, it's about to be lit. He about to drop some some fire rap and some bullshit. Yeah, 
Yeah. Cole. Oh, he dropping all these features. It's going to be lit. He dropped some bullshit and apologized. Like, I'm... I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. The fall off gonna be his for real fall off. Oh man, I wouldn't say that, man. Listen, I'm gonna say whatever I want until he proved me wrong. I hope so. That'll <laughs> be fun. I hope so. I hope we get good music from both of them. You know, Kendrick. You know, Troy just mentioned earlier that he's doing a a concert out in L.A. on Juneteenth, man. Kendrick's the king of the world. <laughs> Shout out to Kendrick. Subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe on Spotify. Follow on Instagram. Of course. Twitter. TikTok, like all the apps, all the apps. We're everywhere. We are everywhere. everywhere. <laughs>